we do believe that there is a big issue about the spread of zero hours contracts and we're proposing our own very tough crackdown. Uh, we believe uh, any employee on a zero hours contract deserves a minimum notice period of 12 hours for when they're expected on their next shift and believe it or not that often doesn't happen at the moment. We believe that after a year working on a zero hours contract, if you're working for a large employer, you should be entitled to demand a fixed hours contract uh, or uh, indeed uh, a permanent post. We wouldn't now ha out, however completely uh, rule out zero hours contracts because they do um, suit some people rather well. But we do agree that it's worrying that so many of the new jobs being created are zero hours contracts. What we would say Labour has no answer for is that the fundamentals of the labour market, this huge open door to southern and eastern Europe and their low wage economies, uh, means that big employers are able to change terms, to change pay and conditions uh, willy-nilly really and that the working people of Britain will not get back to higher pay and protected employment conditions while this open door persists and Labour has absolutely no answer to that at all. We could supply a list of several thousand names of business supporters of UKIP and I know that because they're party members. We are the party of small business people. It doesn't particularly surprise me that the corporate sector uh, isn't lapping up UKIP's message because the terms of our EU membership suits the corporate sector extremely well. We believe both in a pro-business agenda, we have no plans to reverse the coalition's cuts in corporation tax. We agree with the Treasury deficit elimination schedule. UKIP MPs will be the voice of fiscal responsibility in the next parliament. But we also see that we need a fairer way of running the British economy. UKIP is the one party that has a pro-business agenda, but also a fairness agenda. And I actually think the Conservatives ought to be a little bit wary. I don't think uh, just listing uh, names of big business supporters will have quite the sway it once did because the vast majority of British people have been through seven or eight or even ten years now of declining pay and conditions.